only Tulsa and UCLA ran more. Quickly once again with tempo and the out route again and this is their leading receiver Tommy Schuler, a high school teammate of Cato from Miami Central High School. Second and 19. Into coverage complete. Fantastic grab by Eric Franopel. Junior from Inch State. He's out of Stafford, Virginia. Area of Virginia Tech. Now second and eight. Talaferro gashes the defense right up the middle. He's got a first down, and he gets stood up at the 36-yard line by Jack Tyler. She'll want it from the offense. Terrific job by this offensive line. You spread out, and, and then you gash them up the middle. Quickly once again, back to the ground game in Talaferro. Another huge gash up the middle, and he takes it down nearly to the 10. Keyshawn Jarrett with the stop. Tempo, pressure, it they get back on the line of scrimmage with quickness before the defense can get set. They create angles in the running game because of their offensive formations. They're usually spreading you out offensively, offsetting penalties. So second and 10. Crowd loud at Lane Stadium. Blitz coming. Lob. Touchdown. Gator Hoskins in the last lap belongs to Marshall. You out. Gator Hoskins is down here in the bottom of the screen, just a simple man-to-man -man coverage. He just muscles his way. Coverage, and you have nobody in the middle of the football field. That means there's nobody in the back end. So it's a perfect situation for Gator Hoskins to run that little slant pass or post pattern against man-to-man -man coverage. All you have to do is beat the man at the point of attack. Now, I'm not so sure Gator didn't shove. Jerry able to move the ball at will in the first half against Virginia Tech. Incomplete, trying to find Tommy Schuler. Hokies lone loss this season came to Alabama. Cato over the middle, incomplete. Trying to find his tight end Hoskins, who's had a hard time staying on the field today. Man coverage underneath. Third and eight. To the outside. Complete. First down for Marshall on a diving grab by Tommy Schuler. That combination is just wearing out right now. Jarrett in the slot. Too much cushion, and on a day that's miserable. First and 15. Cato, deep ball. Turned his man around looking for Eric Frenopel. Rakeem Cato, his escapability, you don't want to let him run on this play. He wants to go deep again. He's a got step, him. And it is picked off. Intercepted by Jarrett. He got it in the end zone. Trying to go to Smith again. And that time, Kaishawn Jarrett read it perfectly. I'm in. And Smith. This ball hangs up a long time. Rakeem Cato decides he's going to throw the football. And if it's outside, it's six points. But the ball drifts to the inside closer to Jarrett. To win on the road. On the ground. A couple of yards up the middle for S. Ray Talaferro. And hold on to it if you're Talaferro. Talaferro again, and he has stood up after a few. Virginia Tech trying to stand up defensively. Jarrett stayed in the game. Loads the right side once again to answer the Virginia Tech pressure. Here's Fuller again. Almost got it for the second time. Catch taken at the seven yard line and a special team stop immediately by Marshall and Matt Cicada. And on special teams, but this is dangerous. You're inside your 10 yard line. If you for his offense that has struggled moving the football. Pretty good kick taken at the 42. Jarrett he's got a wall. Trying to get to the edge. A flag comes flying in. Jarrett has the sideline, and he's got a key block from Fuller. On fourth and 16, they punt it away. Jarrett backed up to the 11. And he is tripped up at the 17-yard line. J.R. Collins, he's doing his job up front. If Virginia Tech's going to win, they're going to win on defense with pressure.